Welcome to JS Arms Co. We have a fully modified JS Arms Co. High Point where we have an extended rail, we have a bigger charging handle, we have a barrel shroud. In this case, the barrel shroud goes all the way to the end of the barrel because this is not a threaded barrel. And then we also have the High Point adapter, uh, AR adapter to put on your stock. We also have sling rings for quick to detach and we have in here the guide rod and a different sear spring but that's not what we're really here to talk about today today we're here to talk about this new 45 that i just bought and show you how to put on the short barrel shroud with a rail or without because we have threads and like i said we can you we can do slings we can replace this rail with a longer one we can change that charging handle and so I've done a little bit of work in advance I've loosened this to bolt up and I've removed this pin from underneath here and I've also removed the two pins that hold the shroud on you remove your charging handle you loosen this And you remove the two pins from here you remove that or lift that lever and then you can remove the top there and then you can pop this right out or right off and then you can pop this out you have to kind of pop it loose from <clears throat> the front there and then you unscrew your thread protector you loosen these two set screws which I've already previously done and you take off your front sight because you won't be needing that anymore and then you loosen this little screw so that you can pull this bottom rail off because you won't be able to use it either I won't need that anymore but you can hang on to them put them back on it's really easy to go back to factory so then this goes back into the into the gun. This goes back on. You would put your two pins in. Slide that. Down goes your lever. Put your two pins in. Slide these over. And now we are ready for our shrouds. And this one doesn't have a rail. Has two set screws. Slides right on. You can put your thread protector back on. You can put a compensator. You could put a, a can, you could put whatever you want. This one has a rail, same two set screws, slides right on, tighten those up, again, however you want to do it. And that is how simple it is to change your high point with the bottom rail and the old front sight to have a, a shroud. And in another video, we'll cover how to get this off and replace it with our longer rail or shorter rail whichever one you prefer so that you can put a scope on a red dot these used to be weaver this one is the new picatinny it's a little bit firmer feeling than the old plastic was but i'm not sure it's going to hold a red dot as strong as i would like so as we always say stay safe on the range have a good day